the consequences of their actions or whatever is coming to them the way some of them have tried to justify what they did like not even justify like be proud of it kind of Ugh. it's obviously not suicide i don't know why they're all covering it up as suicide hello everybody welcome back to my channel today is going to be another reading vlog my first ever first ever agatha christie book which is and then there were none um so for the past couple years i've been trying and failing to do the book word thon challenge tag or whatever um like i get through like maybe half a year where i'm like actively reading the books for the prompts and then somehow it doesn't end up happening um so this year's uh, prompt was there there and there so yeah i didn't have any books in my like on my shelves that were actually that had those words any of those words in it so i ended up thinking cuz i've been wanting to start agatha christie's books and like you know start that journey basically for a long time but obviously there are a lot of books it, that she's written so it was very daunting to start but because i didn't have any books that fit that filled the prompt um uh, I didn't have any because I didn't have any books that worked for this prompt. I thought might as well start now. So, my first Agatha Christie book and then there were none. Um yeah, I've heard from a lot of people that this is the best one um that she's written and like I don't know. But I I'm excited. I have the audiobook with me too because for mysteries sometimes like i really like listening to the audiobook because it has like it adds more suspense and gives me like more creepy vibes when i'm reading it which i technically don't need because i know i'm most probably not going to be able to sleep today um yeah anyways i have the audiobook and i have the book so i'm going to be annotating and then my plan for today is to just binge read this entire book it's less than 250 pages like 230 pages or something so it shouldn't be hard and the writing is quite big too so i feel like it's very doable for me so yeah i hope it lives up to the hype and hopefully if it does then i can get started and actually read more of her works like i won't be reading some because i've already seen the movies or the show that have been based on those i do want to read the i don't know i've heard of some of them so i do want to read those but yeah let's see um wow this doesn't even have the entire list Oh. Yeah, it does. this is not even the full list of books she's written because I'm not seeing the name of the one that I've seen the movie of. I'm forgetting the name also. Is the Orient Express whatever whatever Murder on the Orient Express? Yeah. It's not written here. So, yeah, she's definitely written more than these. Um Yeah, anyways, beautiful book that yeah 
um kind of worried about annotating this and like ruining it but whatever it's my book it's for my pleasure for my reading experience should be fine okay let's get started my first thought was why would someone why would they all just go to the island off of someone's letter that they don't even really remember like the details of the person who sent it to them is vague like why would you do that even if it was free <laughs> but yeah anyways obviously they're all probably connected somehow to something that happened years ago like one of them um the dr armstrong guy like he mentioned some sort of business that had gone wrong 10 15 years ago so could be something about that the last guy he knew all of their names the people who were coming before he even got there that seems sketchy and also about him making up his past i guess um and like thinking about what he's going to say to them so that they don't question him and like why he's there i guess so yeah seems suspicious very suspicious just finished chapter 2 moving on to chapter 3 so far i feel like mr blower is like she's written it in a way that makes it seem like he's come here to kill everyone but at the same time because it's written so obviously i feel like that's not going to be the case because like it's written like in a way that he's come here for a job and that he never thought he would be doing this kind of job in the in an island where he grew up or whatever so i mean it's written in a way that makes us want to think that that's who that's what he's going to do that he's going to kill someone and that his job is to kill someone kill all of them i mean but i feel like because it seems so obvious it's not going to be the case but yeah um definitely think that they're all somehow related in some sort of thing that they've done especially with um the guy who you know said he had a some business that went wrong years ago and that he said he had stood up against war grave like given evidence and like you know that basically it was something to do with law and like he did something wrong and then there was also that girl vera whatever vera yeah who read the nursery rhyme and then was trying to not think about somebody drowning or like something and like even before in the first chapter she mentioned something like that so they've definitely done some shit and they're like basically you know the consequences of their actions or whatever is coming to them um yeah still i mean at this point it just seems even more weird that people would be like just fine coming and like living with other people when they don't know who they are but also they don't know who invited them and they've never met this person like at least still like the people who have come because they were like hired like vera was hired as a secretary that still makes sense a little bit and like obviously the staff that are in the house from before they have also not met mr and mrs owen and they still that makes sense but people who have come like because they were offered a free vacation or like you know even when this wall grave guy found out that the person who called him like they're not coming they, nobody knows who that person is like he just tacks it up to like unpredictable women so like anyways chapter 3 I was not expecting that. Um interesting. But I was right. They all did some shit. And this is the consequences of their own actions, I guess. 
but yeah crazy i thought in some way that they would all be like interconnected to each other and like whatever they did like whoever they've killed would be some connection to whoever's like you know taking revenge for those murders but so far it doesn't seem like it's connected at all but yeah crazy like to have it all written down so plainly like what they did um shit's about to go down so keep you all updated <laughs> yeah not so scary so far which is good i am hoping that i'll finish it before sundown in in case it gets scary but right now it's fine so wow these people are horrible who the way some of them have tried to justify what they did like not even justify like be proud of it kind of uh honestly it's not scary at all right now and it's just shocking to me the way these people are and um yeah the way they talk about what they did yeah honestly yeah exciting's not the right word but like i am looking forward to reading what happens to them i guess um <laughs> yeah yeah crazy people um they're going to get what's coming for them i guess and yeah not scary at all right now like i mean if it was like if i didn't know that they were terrible people then i think it would have been scary but yeah maybe it will still get scary because of what happens to them like the way they are murdered i guess anyways yeah i'm still i've passed 50 pages i'm on page 55 so yeah should be should be interesting Anthony's dead. Ah, <sighs> yeah. I mean, with the way he talked about killing those children. Yeah. It's obviously not suicide. I don't know why they're all covering it up as suicide. but yeah it, i mean obviously it has to be one of them who put the cyanide in his drink cuz he wouldn't do that like let me go back and see who was pouring him the drink um many of them poured it so we won't know until later i guess one good thing about hard covers that you can just do this and the spine won't break <laughs> ah. anyways i am past page 100 now things are getting crazy um two have died so far and yeah i mean it's kind of like already spoiled in a way because of the nursery rhyme like we know how they're all going to die but we don't know how, which one is going to die with which method i guess 
So yeah, the first and second one already happened. I have a weird theory. <laughs> Most definitely not gonna be the right thing. I I'm just putting it out there just on the wild thought that it actually is true but it most likely isn't um what if there are two rogers like what if there's like twins like a set of twins um it could be for any of the guests to be honest but i feel like it's for mr rogers just because at the end of chapter eight there's this part where they see mr rogers in the garden and then literally a minute or two later they see him up in the servant's room where like his room basically so I don't know there could be two of them yeah <laughs> it's a little far-fetched it's a little kooky but um, that's a theory for sure it most probably isn't the right theory but yeah anyways i will keep reading and share my um theories which i was probably gonna be wrong but yeah definitely not scary at all like yeah i'm not scared so <laughs> we'll see at night though that might be a different case definitely was wrong my theory um yeah i mean since he's dead there's no way he could have a twin and be dead because then what if someone spots the twin right after he's died um yeah uh i keep going back to the nursery rhyme to see like what's next <laughs> um let's see yeah so now six of them are left four have died um and the next one is a bee sting yeah some of the later ones i don't know how it's gonna be pulled off but it seems interesting yeah i'm more than halfway done as you can tell this is i finished this much this much left um, I'm on page 148 so yeah I have less than 100 pages to go yeah we'll most I mean we'll definitely finish it today itself but I don't know if I'll be able to finish it before sundown because sunset's gonna be in another hour so let's see took a little break but I am back I stopped at page 202 chapter 16 now there's only two of them left um yeah i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen i have literally no idea what's gonna happen i mean i know um what's gonna happen in the sense of the nursery rhyme because of that i know what's gonna happen to them but i don't know what's gonna happen in terms of um like who did it like what happened like that i have no idea about so anyways i have one chapter left and then the epilogue and there's two of them left who are alive and according to the poem or the nursery rhyme one of them is gonna frizzle up in the sun and i think that's gonna be vera because she doesn't want to go inside and what's his name lombard is the one who wants to go inside and check out and see if there's anyone there um yeah i don't know oh okay i think um yeah so vera is gonna be the one who's gonna frizzle up under the sun i don't know how what the actual thing will be but like according to the poem and then mr blower 
Oh no, what is I saying? Mr. Lombard is gonna go in to her room to check because the bear clock that fell on what's his name? Mr. Blower. Blower? Wow, how have I forgotten the name of the guy? Literally when I'm still reading the book. Uh yeah, it is Blower. Okay. I don't know why this sounded wrong. Anyways, um, because that clock is what killed Mr. Blower. So, and it came from her room. So he's going to go check that. But there is a hook on her ceiling from what the, from where the seaweed was hanging that scared her earlier in the book. And I think that's going to be where he hangs himself. I mean, he won't do it, I think. The person, the people person, whoever is behind this is going to do it. Um, yeah. Anyways, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I think that's how they're going to die. Both of them in this chapter, maybe. And then um, in the epilogue, we'll find out what happened. Why, like, not what happened, but like, who's behind all this. So... Yeah, I'm ready for my mind to be blown away, kind of. Um, let's go. Oh my god. Damn. Damn. As soon as the last bit, like the manuscript or the letter or whatever started, like I figured obviously because of the voice. Um, but the way, like, the whole armstrong and you know wargrave part was so shocking like that like i don't know that, that was just really shocking just finding out that um when they found wargrave dead he was acting and armstrong was in on that and then and then he killed him so that he couldn't talk about that either. <sighs> wow. Wow. <laughs> that was that was good. Yeah. In the author's note in the beginning, uh, the author mentioned like how you know they were really pleased with the book and having written it because they know how difficult it had been to come up with this and like to actually make it happen and yeah makes sense like i guessed none of that like all my theories were wrong and yeah definitely wasn't scary to me um it's always the people who the book starts with isn't it hmm. I mean, it's not, but like, still, I should have known when I I even mentioned that like, um, he got a letter from that Constance Culmington person and like when he found out that there's no 
person like that on the island and there's no person like that planning on coming to the island like and he just blamed it on like women just not you know keeping up with their plans or whatever whatever was I, I, I can't remember the actual words but like whatever it was like when he just said that like so like casually and just like gave it a, like just didn't have an actual reaction to the fact that the person who invited him to the island wasn't coming like that should have been a hint like I should have seen that but I didn't and like uh yeah I mean all the clues that he mentioned in his letter at the end like the three clues like the first one obviously like we had no way of knowing that that the guy was actually guilty um yeah so that would it, i could never have got gotten that or like guess that and then the second one i could have guessed that but yeah anyways <laughs> and then there were none by agatha christie my first agatha christie book my first classic of the year um crazy and also my first book for buzzwordathon 2024 january's prompt there and then there were none anyways really enjoyed it i yeah i mean there were moments during the book where like i was hoping it would get more like scary or exciting like not exciting it's just scary or more like thrilling which it didn't feel but like that last like ending when it was revealed like when he just revealed his entire plan and like how he did it like it just made so much more sense um and yeah just the the reveal of that was really shocking and great to read so yeah enjoyed it a lot let me know if you have read it or let me know if there are other agatha christie books that you guys love and that you would recommend i read next so yeah that's all for this video thank you so much for watching see you next time